So I'm going to put this. I'm going to be catched by the bell. Can, can you listen? Hi, can you listen? Okay, good. So first, uh, I'm like, uh, I'm sorry, how's your name? It's Paul. Ah, I was expecting you more French. <laughs> yeah, 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 you're not as French as you should be. <laughs> yeah, okay, yes, good. Uh, thanks, Paul. Yeah, like uh, Paul said, I am uh, here in behalf of uh, Ofrai. He couldn't make it, he couldn't find any funding for coming, and the expenses for coming from um, Colombia are pretty high. So I'm going to just start by presenting myself and ask you. Ask you for some kind of forgiveness, I'm preparing this in less than half a week. And I'm using this software that I never used in my life before. And it's, uh, it's kind of mind blowing because it, it does not go in a line like uh, slides, but it goes in multiple lines. It's more like a three, like a mind uh, map. So it's, uh, I'm really new in this. So I'm in Santiago Bragañolo. I'm uh, from Argentina. So that's kind of uh, Latin American fraternity. Uh, I'm working in India, so that's why for me it's easier to, to come by. I'm working in, in France, uh, and actually that, that's why also I can, I can be today. Some, somehow I got some money from them. I, I will come in anyway, but... Uh, and I'm also a Faro developer. Faro is, uh, is the main language behind uh, Graphoscopio. So this is why uh, we also know each other. Uh, so... This is a really funny title, like uh, offer I like to put, like uh, pocket infrastructure to, to bridge reproducible research, like coding uh, civic activism and data feminism for, uh, from the global south. This is the first time in my life I can say it all together without stopping. <laughs> okay. Uh, it has a lot of, again, it has a lot of uh, corners that I am, uh, I'm from IT, I'm not from, and he's from... Yeah, art and humanities and design and creation. So, um, yeah. well, our minds work completely different. <laughs> so first, uh, what is the Graphoscopio? It's, uh, it's a tool that is focusing in what we call reproducible research. So I will show you just briefly how, how it looks like. This is uh, basically it's a, it's an editor that allows us to, to do like, uh, by example, um, Jupiter. The difference is that uh, the main difference with Jupiter is that we are not uh, we are going we are using especially Faro. It's not an agnostic uh, language agnostic platform and is based on a, on an IDE. Actually, Jupiter is going is trying to build an IDE of its own uh, usage, and we are using an IDE to go to the notebook. Uh, software, so that means that we are going kind of on opposite paths. The general idea is that we can uh, visualize and edit uh, text in a tree fashion. So we are going to have some uh, different nodes representing main titles, etc. So here we can see the, the something that's really interesting is what is the configuration that we're going to use for creating a PDF or creating a, a, an HTML page, etc. The idea, the main idea of all of this is going towards the, the reproducibility. The idea is how do you do to get exactly the same result that you have been shown before. So the, the idea is just to press on export as a PDF. And once it's done, just to, to be able to open it. But it has to be done first. Okay. And the idea is just to to be able to, to export it and to be able to use it. And uh, again, same ideas uh, as Jupyter, the idea is to be able to, to use code. I, I saw one sexy example of it, but I'm not sure. Yeah, by example, this one, I didn't here. So basically the idea is we can mix code, data, and text itself, and we can deliver it just as a, as a package. And the idea is to be able to, going back to the, to the presentation, to be able to bridge code, data, pros, and visualization, to be able to, to create content that has real uh, solid ground. 
being able to say, okay, what is the data that you use for doing this uh, this article? So you you should be able to find it inside the same uh, inside the same program, inside the same uh, graphoscopy. What are the what is the algorithm you use for for analyzing this data? You should be able to find it exactly the same fashion in the same program. Uh, so the idea is to be able to again put all the things together so you can analyze the prose, you can analyze the text, you can easily jump to the data or to the algorithms and be able to match and understand what's happening, what, what, what is the conciliation in between the, the, the information that you are reading, that you're getting, and the real data behind and the way of analyzing it. So the, the idea of, of this in general is then to bring what we call the scientific method, basically because this, I, I suppose this is not something that is weird for anybody here, it looks like most of you are coming from some kind of uh, science background. Um, so the, the general idea is to, is to be able to try to follow the, the same kind of, of strictness in the past. So we are, we are having to we have some hypotheses. We are going to, to match this hypothesis with some data, with some analysis, and being able to stand by, uh, by them and to be strict. No? Because uh, nowadays we can find uh, oxes everywhere. We can find a lot of uh, text that... I know you just have to open the newspaper and, and look at the fancy statistics. It's really hilarious sometimes. And then they, they never explain you about the, I don't know, standard deviation of the population, of the, of the amount of population, how, how, how many, yes, yes, 90% of, of how much. Everybody from the same neighborhood probably. So the idea is, uh, is to bring this kind of tools, this, this kind of, of uh, way of working, and uh, for helping activism in general, that is the, the off-right main, uh, main domain. And data journalism, that is, uh, is also interesting for me. Is, I, I use it especially for documentation and for, for trying to build my own book for explaining how to use frameworks that I do. So it's nothing to do. But the, the main idea is to be able to do things that are socially nice. Uh, so in the idea is, uh, I'm going to show you a bit on the, I have two, oh, uh, interesting. So this is the, oh, wait a second, maybe it's not a good way to show it, I was not, a, uh, this is a virtual machine, this is a version in, in Linux. I'm using this version, to be honest, because I was <coughs> lazy to reinstall all the uh, SQLite uh, things that I need for making run the Panama Papers work that Offre did. But the, the idea is, is just this. By example, we can execute this, and it's going to generate this map. Or we can go a bit uh, down where it is. OK, I'm not sure if I'm going. Well, I can, I can show you after if you are interested. The idea is that uh, all the, uh, yeah, by example, this one. These are all the countries that are not uh, related with the Panama Papers in general. Then after we can see all the, all, the, all the countries that are related with the Panama Papers, by example here. So here we can see the, the country and the amount of uh, offshore accounts. And all of this is, uh, is directly downloaded by the, is directly queried to the database that we just download from, uh, from a site that is sharing this uh, SQ, SQLite uh, database. So and, and the only thing I have to do is to check what is the implementation of this. This is a method, no? it's, it's, a, it's a function in some part of the, of the system. We can just go in to check what it's doing inside. This one is not that interesting, let's say, but here we can see already a query, an SQL query. We can know ex ex exactly where it comes from. Oh, nice. We can, uh, we, we can exactly know what, wh where it comes from, where, what is the query about, if it is filtering something, if we are hiding some information or not, if we are processing, pre-processing some information or not. So the idea is always to be able to connect, again, the, the, whole, the whole text and the whole thing, the book, with, uh, with this uh, data. So the, that is from the side of, uh, I can show you a, a bit also, I, I just load before. So the, the, the result of all this uh, graphoscopy or other project that I was showing you here, this one, I'm going to put it in post because if not, I'm going to frame my battery. Um, the, the outcome is, 
is this uh, after some design of the HTML export is uh, this this nice blog uh, article that has here the same map uh, we just generated uh, before with uh, with Graphoscopio and that it explains how to how, how to get the queries how to modify the queries so it, it he's always always in the world we're trying to put together what is the our conclusion how do we do uh, how do you how, how you are able to repeat it so the the idea is then to to, to be able to uh, to bring some tech some uh, technological usages some uh, coding practices into what we call the activism in general for activism we are we're understanding in general uh, citizen engagement so trying to help to 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 disclose this kind of uh, information to explain what this information means none of the leaks is uh, none of the leaks is uh, it was an, it was an information easy to, to to grasp no we have a lot of a big database with a lot of uh, of data but not really much information so the, the idea is how, how how do we do to bring that to the people so that that is what we call to be a, a digital citizen so digital citizen again is and this actually all this project is is about uh, is about being uh, hacktivist because actually graphoscopio is not only the tool but also the people that is behind by example this is a, a data week workshop that a week uh, the data week workshop was a workshop in in bogota in colombia that it was about gathering people from philosophy from journalism from medicine uh, teach them how to use the tool help them uh, asking to 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 help to to interact in order to to get a bit uh, pondered and being able to code themselves and modify the, themselves the code of the of the same tool of the things that whatever thing they know they, they need uh, and being able to to create their own things so this leads us to the other to, to, to the next part that is all this empowering the the user for being able to be also a coder for being able to to interact with the thing without being a, in, a, in a kind of a black box or, or in a, in a way where, where we are ha kind of a, in a power relationship no? in between the, per the person that is able to do the change and the pe person that needs the change uh, so that, that leads us to what we call data feminism data feminism is a term, in, is a term that was developed by women so it's okay we can say it no uh, really no, uh, if it was uh, said by men I wouldn't, I wouldn't end up to, <laughs> to, propose, to, 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 to agree with it but so the idea is how to use uh, the, the general proposal of of, of uh, data feminism. I don't know if you are aware of this uh, definition is to use the semiotic and philosophical devices of intersectional feminism. So to use the the the, the understanding, the deconstructive power of uh, of intersectional feminism to understand the power relationships in the data and in the things that we are creating so the this is empowering the is this is trying to break the user developer polarization the the, the existence of uh, of something that you can execute and something that you can edit and uh, this never the same so you cannot really mutate it you cannot really do the changes that you need uh, probably if you if you at some point in your life you needed some uh, some speci specific feature in some software you probably you you're already passed by this pain regardless if you are a developer or not because maybe you are a developer but it happens that you are a user of this tool and this uh, this feature is never there so this is what we call in generally in general data feminism there is a nice article behind and uh, we we contribute with graphoscopio to trans to transform it into a PDF offline. What take us to? This is so hard. <laughs> to pocket infrastructures. That is the one of the nice things of uh, nice ideas of Graphoscopio. The idea is you just download one thing, that is the the Graphoscopio tool, and and that that's all. You don't need to install any server. You don't need to install any nothing. And the one of the of the main concerns is offline first. This is a, again. This is a tool from and for Global South. Global South. Are you aware of what it means in general? Great. I was not aware. So, 
So the, the idea is uh, in, in South America, you don't have all the time or in everywhere all the time in, uh, internet connection. So how do you do? So if you, are, if you cannot uh, have an internet connection, you cannot write. You cannot get uh, information. You, you are not, uh, you are like a second class citizen. You know, like. So how do you do to, to, uh, to, to take this kind of things in account and, and think and and taking it in account for the decision of what is the architecture and, and how, how, how do you do to deliver something that the people can use without having to have a master degree uh, for being able to install weird stuff, for being able to go through a lot of, uh, of weird configurations. Me, myself, I, I, that, that is my job to install things. I, uh, just, just for having LaTeX, Pandoc, things uh, uh, working properly, it was already a challenge. I mean, I spent like one day, and, and, I, and I do this all the time for my job. So I, for a person that has no, no knowledge about that, it should be really complex. Uh, that, 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 that. So the general philosophical idea behind, or the general philosophical question behind Graphoscopio is how do we change the tool that changes. So again, it's empowering the users of, uh, of, notebook, of notebook writers for being able to change the same notebook writer. So uh, the idea in general is to bridge communities, so bring people, uh, put together people from different uh, backgrounds, people from IT, people from, uh, from art, people from philosophy, from uh, political sciences, etc., to put them together and, and to foment to, to push the, the interaction. No? This is something that we forget a lot. We do a lot of uh, interaction with people of our own domain, and this is, is that is not healthy. Just uh, mentally is not healthy, and, and for the possible, I mean, the, the, as a creativity is, is, is bad. It's, it goes against creativity in general. Uh, in practice, what we do is uh, to, to plan workshops, to, to teach people how to use, to help people in, in using it and in changing, modifying, and other things. And in general, the idea of future is uh, global south uh, issues. And I'm going to learn uh, to, to say only the, the cons. The, well, the cons is scalability, sustainability, visibility, disponibility. And the, the pro of, of being in the global south uh, According to Ofra, it's, it's, it's nice is that since we are always behind, we have always the chance of watching what the things, uh, wh where the things went wrong and try to, to do it as well. <laughs> and well, then, well, okay, more technical stuff like uh, code quality and UI, uh, et cetera. Well, so well, that's it. <laughs> Questions? Yeah. So for me, the, uh, it's a, I have, when I have a site, internet site, and I want to read it, there is comfort or PDF. Also, I have only two, uh, uh, an alternative, hmm. uh, uh, one, one point is uh, uh, good text, uh, but very poor text, only the same character and so on, with control C, control V, yeah, yeah. special options yeah. of too complicated text, yeah. so uh, difficult. So uh, an attempt to disable people with this kind of thing uh, of internet uh, becoming uh, uh, something horrible. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I com like yeah. I com I, yeah. You understand? Yeah, 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 yeah. and I completely agree. I, I have my, my, my way of thinking that is uh, each time that we enhance. Ah, yes, yeah, sorry. Okay. Uh, it, well, actually, it was not a question. It was mostly like uh, pointing the, the, the fact that uh, internet makes the things more more complex. Actually, I, com I completely I completely agree, and I, I think that also for, uh, gives a, a wider uh, arena for creativity. It's like uh, before we had only monks writing, then we have uh, print, uh, we start to have some printing device. And yeah, when there was some printing device, probably there was a lot of people that, was sh that should not be allowed to write that was uh, writing. 
And the, and, and the same nowadays we have internet where a person that knows just how to type can, is able to, to write and waste your time when you're looking for something in the internet. But by the other hand, you have a lot of people that before was not able to, to, to have this, uh, this means for writing and now has the possibility. So I, I, mean, I mean like in a, like in a dilemma too. It's, I understand it's, it's, there is a lot of noise and there is a lot of uh, crap also. But also, I'm, 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 I have my optimist side. I think that there is also space for people to to express a bit more. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, you are using native Pandoc. Pandoc? Yeah. So. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Exactly. We use, uh, we use uh, actually, the, our software only exports to Markdown, and Pandoc does the rest of the magic. It does the conversion to LaTeX, HTML, uh, PDF, or whatever Pandoc can do, we can do it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, that, Page? Okay, I, I'm not, I'm, this is not completely my world, so uh, I'm going to write it down and propose it, but I cannot tell you if, if it has been taken in account or not. So uh, again, what is the name? Page. Like this? Okay. Ah, dot GS. Like this. Ah, paged. Okay, gone like uh, past uh, tense. Okay, great. Fa ah. Yeah, so you can explain me. But uh, still, it's not. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm just a newcomer, so I cannot. Uh, I cannot. Uh, I, I can exchange a favor because I already did this presentation. So, but uh, yeah, thanks. For good, great. Thanks. <laughs> ah, this is a community. Nice, beautiful. <laughs> ah, really. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Good. <laughs>